differences between those that believe that there is a difference between IT <laughs> and <laughs> business and those who see that they're actually right. in, 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 in that sense, the, 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 the commonalities and the differences rather than geeks and non geeks. What, what is between the main business and the support functions and professionals? And this is I feel like there's a the definite action. difference having been in both IT and marketing, um, which are both conceivably support functions. I can tell you 110,000 percent there's a massive difference, at least here in the States. And, and what are you trying to accomplish? Are you trying I'm to like, seek for? We could be having cultural differences that I'm not aware of. That's uh, why I like that's also my idea. Was we just capture all these points. And I think what you're trying to accomplish is seek first to understand, then to be understood, right? If you understand the differences, you can start resolving. Isn't that what the goal is? So it's, is, right. I mean, I'm guessing. So then you really want to understand the, the mindset of the people that are doing the IT, we call it geeks or not, right. versus the mindset of people that don't care about IT, just care about getting their job done and need IT as a service. Can I, I, it seems to, I mean, I, I think one of the challenges is that so many people in this room are, are chasm crossers, like people that can talk to both sides. So, so you know, it may be difficult, you know, as us, as a, as a whole to say, oh, geeks are separate. Geeks are separate. I mean, geeks are geeks. You know, the fact that you know, a lot of people in this room can talk to either side, and, and you know, creatives and marketing people and you know, product people, they're geeky in their own way, but these, they're quite distinct you know, personality types. I mean, it's, on some level, it's, it's about stereotyping the two, you know, putting them in stark contrast. Let me tell you something. I'm, you know, having working with the largest IT organizations in the world, they have more normal people yeah. and less geeks than in their marketing uh, departments in, in those big companies. This is this is dangerous. What we're doing here is dangerous. I'm sorry that I'm doing this and I can stop if this is worth the discussion. But if you really think that in Sprint or at and has 50,000 people in their IT organization, all of them are geeks. We don't and no, we're not saying that. We're not saying that. Not only that, they have much less gigs than their yeah. marketing department. Correct. But we're not talking yeah. about organizational structures, we're talking about personality. Now I would say, you need to have the people skills. You need to have the ability to develop relationships. You need to be able to speak in non-IT terms to non-IT people. We don't ask for that kind of... So, and there's actually been research done on that, that, that we don't ask for that. So, I mean, how do you say, it? you have to have this to do your job, and then we don't ask for Everybody is different, but let's be honest, you walk into a marketing department, and there's definitely a different feel and a different culture than walking into, you know, a manufacturing group versus, you know, a and, and yes, there's a difference between the development team and the tech support team. But at some point, you have to, in order to just be able to generalize enough to be able to reason about it, I think it's fair to stereotype as long as it's not considered, you know, definitive or negative. They never get dates. We can't say that. That's not fair. They do dates. I think another We reproduce. I have a date. I'm sorry, I'd like to say that another thing that came out of our session was a very useful idea of triggers and levers. Not necessarily characteristics of who you are, but trends about what these types of people tend to respond to or get triggered by. And that those are very useful for us to know when we try to work together. Because they, hope they, they cause collisions, and then we don't know what to do about it when we collide. 